Stick It with Mr. Biggs is made possible by listeners like you. To support the show, go to askmrbiggs.com slash support. It's time to get sticky with Stick It. Stick It. And Mr. Biggs. With Mr. Biggs. Yeah, it's a po- it's a podcast about glues and adhesives. Right. And right. B- before you before you tune away on your podcast machine, you should know that. And when he says sticky, he's referring to glue, and not other things. So yeah, yeah, right. that's right. good. I like that. Is that all right yeah. then? Is that good? Yeah, that works. You, I think your little line that you added there is is good. It really it really brings it all together. That's nice of you to say, Roger. I would like to say that your line that you came up with, while it, I don't I don't like it, but I appreciate the initiative, and I like the fact that you're coming to the table with material. Well, that I, that is a pleasant uh, pleasant change for the uh, the nineteen. Yes, yes, the nineteen. Yes, indeed. I I twenty nineteen, uh, Roger. It's a new year. It's twenty nineteen. Right. I call I call it. The 19 to save time. That's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah. I just, I thought uh, that it just kind of popped into my head one day and I thought, hey, let me. Uh, 19? The, 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 the time to get sticky thing popped into my head the other day and I thought I'd throw it out there and see if it stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that one wasn't as good, but yeah, it's good. Good effort. That's nice. So we talk about glues, we talk about adhesives, and you ask your questions, and I'm here to answer them. Right. I'm a bit of an adhesives expert, if I don't say so myself. Enthusiast, expert, and all-around guy who likes sticky stuff. Glue, Roger, be specific, Glue, please. glue, tapes, adhesives, caulks. Caulk. Calk. Roger. Calks. What the hell are you doing? It's taken a disturbing turn awfully early in the show, I think. All right. All right. Well, listen, let's let's all breathe because we have a long way to go. Yeah. You remember what the doctor said? I do. Let's 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 try it. He said you just go ahead and pay at the desk and uh, make an appointment. Come on back in a couple of weeks and we'll check it again. What did he say about your, uh, you know, your issues? He said that uh, it is diagnosed and treatable with uh, behavior modification right, plans. Right, right, right. And he gave me pamphlets, and uh, I don't know, is that what you're going for? I'm going, I'm going for the breathing. Oh! Oh, I, for, I forgot. Five yeah. seconds in. Two, three, <sighs> four, five. Hold for six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. It's better now, right? Yeah, no, yeah, it's great. No more. I like, I feel, I feel a hell of a lot better. That's good. No more outbursts. You're going to, we're going to keep it nice and nice and low key. Yeah. Except for one thing. What's that? Breaking news! Okay, we'll give you that one. It's time for breaking news, where we cover a, a news story, a story in the news, that requires glues or adhesives to make it all better again. Dateline, Coldwater, Michigan. While, yeah. while Branch County works on finding an architect for its new jail, the county jail study group is looking at the cost of temporary plumbing pipe fixes to the current jail until the new jail is built and ready in two years. Now, this brought a conference. Uh, com- this brought a conference. You want to try that line again? You want to start over? If if I could, is that all right? Yeah, go go ahead and start the line over again, and then what we'll do is we'll edit it. Right. We'll edit the bad one out, right. and then we'll leave the good one in. Yeah. Okay. That that. Thank you for the opportunity. Edit this. Opportunity. Edit this part right here. Got to mark mark it. 
Go ahead. All Start right. the line again. Uh, that brought a converse, That brought a confrontation between Branch County Sheriff John Pollock and <laughs> facilities manager Scott Walls. Yeah. A major issue is that only one boiler is working for hot water. And Wall said to replace it now is $19,000 and up to $26,000 in an emergency. Oh, yeah. Weekends and overnights. It's exactly. going to be way more expensive. However, yeah. County Commissioner Terry Norris said that she is not ready to, quote, spend a lot of money on the current jail just as we're getting ready to tear it down. I am in favor of using binder twine and duct tape on the pipes, something that will keep us from spending a lot of money before the new jail is ready. End quote. Oh, come on. That's a horrible idea. Sheriff Pollock said, quote, I am not going to have staff and inmates running around on wet floors with a possibility to slip and fall and have injuries. Duct tape is a risky business. End quote. It is not only a risky business, it is not the product for the job. There, there are several problems with this uh, breaking news story. Number one, you don't tear jails down. That's dumb. Okay. And, and I will add, in top of being dumb, it's also stupid. To t- tear, tear jails down? or You got to build the jails. You got to build more of them. That way, you see, Roger, that way. You can put more bad guys in the jails if you build more jails. If you tear down one jail while you're building another one, then you lose all the capacity of the first jail and you don't have room for the bad guys anymore. There's always more bad guys, Roger. They're they're making new ones every single day. The the jails can't keep up with them, I suppose, is the next. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you're going to fix your pipes, putting duct tape on them. We've covered this before, haven't we? I, you know, Duct- we've we've covered a lot of things like this, and I guess yeah. my question to you is: I can kind of see. I'm I'm assuming they mean wrapping the 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 pipes with duct tape, and uh, I don't quite see what the binder twine it, how that works into it. Well, I think what they mean is maybe wrapping a leaky pipe in an old rag and then wrapping twine around it. You know, like the kind of uh, street fixes they used to do back in the 20s. Okay. You know, back in olden times, back in the Great Depression, people would uh, do uh, various fixes which were not effective in the long run. And duct tape, as, as versatile as it is, it's right there in the name. Come on. Duct it's duct tape. It's not water pipe tape. So the, what you're saying is then the uh, suggestion, the mere suggestion of using duct tape and or uh, binder twine is is just a bad idea from, from jump. No. You don't want to use duct tape for plumbing pipes or ducting, and you don't want to use binder twine for pipes. You want to uh, replace the pipes. With a, with a qualified uh, plumber or technician, have them come in, sure. turn off the water main, rip up the slab, file the paperwork with the city. Right, right. Get the get the, proper, get the permits. Per, yeah, permits. You know, this, have the guy come out because he's going to come out to inspect before you fill that back in, and then you fill it back in. You have another guy come out and fill out some more paperwork. You know, I I was thinking uh, uh, just right then. Um, there, there are those ads on TV where, uh, it shows a pipe with, with water shooting out of it. And then that guy right. wraps it with, uh, this flex tape stuff. And then the, the leaking hey. spraying water pipe hey. just stops. Roger, the, Roger, Roger. Yeah. Don't ever, uh, no, uh, look at me. Don't ever bring up flex tape on the show ever again. Not even in jest, not in passing, not even sarcastically. Do not bring up flex tape. I will not have its name mentioned on this show. This is a a show about glues and adhesives and things that stick. Uh, I see. Not about sham products run by a a dishonest and untrustworthy man. You mean uh, Phil Swift? Is that the guy? Right. Roger, don't mention flex tape, 
And for God's sakes, do not mention P.S.'s name. Okay. In my presence, because I swear I don't know what I'm, I don't know. I may have to do more breathing exercises right. again. Right, right. That's not a bad idea. But I just, you know, the way it looked on the uh, on the TV ads, I mean, literally, there was a pipe and there was- You think you know somebody. Spraying water. When you make a verbal agreement with a person and you shake on it, in, in my book, that's good enough. That's what I say. And then to be uh, misled, lied about, mm. so many emotions okay. felt okay. that summer afternoon. Phil Swift is banned. Okay. We're not talking uh. about flex tape on this show. So no flex tape on the prison pipes. Here's what you can do. All right. You, you got a plan. You got a plan B then. Flex tape style solution, but not. it's not flex tape. Right, mind you. Sure, all right? sure. Get yourself an old bicycle inner tube, right? Yep, yep. Cut a section out of it, and you split it open so that it's like a flat piece of uh, rubber. Wipe that down with an old rag. Use some isopropyl alcohol. Let it dry all the way. And then you can spray one side of the rubber sheet with some uh, spray adhesive. Mm -hmm. Loctite makes a nice spray adhesive. Mm -hmm. Or if you, if you don't have any of that, you can uh, spray that aerosol can stuff. What is it? Um, that stu uh, flex seal stuff. Spray that on the inner tube. Okay. Flex, you know, not like, flex tape. No, I'm talking about flex seal, like the one you see on TV, the, the commercials. You can spray some of that on there. Well, and the, you can put that on your pipe. Well, the flex, the flex tape's on TV, <laughs> too. The flex tape. Yeah, and the, that's what I'm talking about. That's the stuff. Well, flex. Now what do I'm I'm confused. We use flex seal or flex tape. I warned you not to mention flex tape in my presence again. Because I, promises made are promises kept, Roger. Right. Both right. from you and from uh, Alan Swift, Phil Swift's brother, who in my presence oh. made a blood oath to me that he would care for my belongings. Take care of them and return them in the same condition, if not better. And uh, I, uh, okay. And so, I guess for this project, we're gonna we're gonna want to use Flex Seal for the uh, the pipes. Then, just no, just you, you wrap an old bicycle inner tube around it, tie it up, stay away, from real it. tight. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay, okay, all right. You know, the first time, it was his bad. It was on him, and then the second time. The second right. time, it was my fault because I should have known better. Well, I should have known not to trust. And then okay. the third time, that was also his fault because. Well, listen, maybe maybe this is something that we can sort out, you know, after after the after the show. It sounds like something that. Well, you don't want to air you don't want to air your grievance on 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 the podcast. I'm not. Do you? Okay, I'm not. No, I'm saying no. I don't want to talk about it, and right. I don't want to talk about him and his family of products. Okay, so please move on. Okay, that's what we're going to do. All right, this yeah. has been breaking news. Breaking news. Yeah. Hey, Roger. Uh, before we get to the email and people ask the questions and stuff, I want to do uh, the whiz bang. So introduce that if you don't mind. Just do the thing. Whiz bangs. Where the fun Porter never ends. Philip, corner of Phillips and Mountain downtown. Oh, I'm sorry. Whiz bangs. bangs. The corner of Phillips and corner Mountain Phillips downtown. And Mountain downtown. Where the fun never fun ends and the ends. party is party never, never ended. Yeah. All right. Come you, on back, everybody. What's going? Come what's, on back. What's going on down there, at Whiz Bangs, Mr. Biggs? Bathrooms are now open once again. The inconvenience has uh, passed. No longer will you have to use the porta potty back out in the alleyway. Nice, nice. Not only was it a mess, it was uh, expensive, and it uh, it smelled a little bit. A little, I mean, you know, a little, a little bit. Just a, but, but it it only smelled a little bit. It didn't smell a lot, right? It was a, there was a certain amount of stench, but it wasn't. Yeah. A huge amount. It was just a, and as a, long a, as you don't put your snoot right down right, there in the right. hole was, and take a big inhale. It wasn't that bad, right? Considering just, considering the circumstances, it really wasn't as bad as you would have thought it was. I say this. This is what I say. If you're in that uh, porta potty stall long enough to be genuinely affected by the stench, maybe you're spending too much time in there. Maybe you need to plan out your visits a little bit better. 
Mr. Letter to the Editor. Mr. Anonymous. Complainer. Bitch, 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 all the time. Why don't you say that stuff to my face? Disappointed in Tri County. Right, right. The bathrooms are now open, and the uh, most of the uh, the plumbing has been. Uh, eh, I don't want to say completed, but it's at the point where it's usable again. Sure. And the bathrooms are now gender neutral, so we don't have any more issues with the uh, the uh, two or three people in the community that had a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think. So come on down. We've taken all the signs off the bathrooms. Use whichever one you want. It's uh, gender neutral bathrooms at Whizbang. Now, so let me let me let me clarify, or help clarify. Yeah. There were originally um, a, a, a men's room and a women's room. So yeah. you've gone and and uh, with the signs, uh, yeah. women, men, they had the signs. Now you've sure. gone gender neutral. Which yeah, means, of that course, means you just... that you can have penis, you can have vagina, you can have, right. uh, you can have in between, you can have half penis and half vagina, and you can use he the did. one on the left, the one on the right, or you can you you can do part of your business in one bathroom, and then you can pinch it off, and then run over to the other bathroom and finish up okay. with whatever parts you choose to use in the gender neutral whiz bangs right. bathrooms now open. Right. Whiz bangs. And so there's the the two rooms, uh, yeah. which, of course, it doesn't matter which one you use because the signs are now down. So there's no yeah. need to ch- choose. You can just go to either one. Maybe I should explain what gender neutral means. No, no. It doesn't mean no. it doesn't mean that there's another gender that's uh, neutral to the other real ones. It just means that uh, the bathrooms can be used by either of the two real genders that are real and actual and aren't pretend and made up. Right. Yeah. Well, see, what I wanted to bring up, though, as I was talking about the doors, um, just to refresh your memory, and I know I don't need to, but I just want to make sure the listeners are clear so they don't, so there's no misunderstanding. Uh, To the right of the two restroom doors, there's also the uh, the, uh, utility closet right there. And then yeah, we got a place to keep the buckets and the mops, mops right there. And then to the right of that, it's the there's the boiler room. And I know in the past, sure. you've had problems with people wandering into the utility closet, to, you know, to, th- thinking it was the restroom. Okay. And a couple right. of times, I, I think I see Roger. When they Roger, were really hey, hey, had a Roger. problem. Hey, Roger, I know what the problem is. You think that I'm letting people into the utility closet and the boiler room. Those those rules haven't changed, all right? People are still not allowed in the utility room, and they're not uh, allowed in the boiler room. Those are still off limits. Actually. I'm, t- I'm talking about the bathrooms. Right. They are now gender neutral. Right. It's very simple. It's not hard. After it was explained to me about the penis and the vaginas, it was even clear to me, and I was able to realize that by taking the signs down, right. we didn't have to worry about people being all hung up on well, that one used to be for boys. Well, that one used to be for girls. Which one do I use? And you use either one of them. Right, now. right. They can go. It's they, easy. They can go either. Simple. W- go either way. But like the I said, now, now that you're looking at four doors now, and none of them yeah. have signs, so none. I'm thinking you're you're increasing the likelihood that somebody is going to wind up in the boiler room or the utility closet. And I know, you know, when back there have been times in the past. When the uh, let's just say the mopping uh, buckets were filled yeah. with yeah. unclean human urine. Yes, yes. All right. Well, let me take this opportunity to tell people: don't do that. Don't don't go in the utility closet or the boiler room because there is a burn hazard in both rooms. Do not use that with your genitals out doing your uh, bathroom business. Just go into the gender-neutral bathrooms. Sure, sure. Those of you who are concerned, if uh, ladies coming to, into whiz bangs, you don't want to, hey, I don't want to be uh, pinching off uh, a deuce next to some guy. You don't have to worry about that because all the men's stalls, the holes have been plugged. They can't see in anymore. We have uh, we used an old bicycle inner tube, and we split it open, Roger. That's, uh, that seems like a, 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 ver- a versatile uh, versatile item to have around in, the, uh, in yeah. your, in your uh, workbench. 
We just sprayed some spray adhesive on there and put her up over the hole. Now we got a flexible membrane barrier between the stalls, and no one can see through. So you had you had holes in the walls. Did I, I ever call that? Did I ever tell you, Roger? Did I ever tell you about the Swift Brothers and the? Uh, right. Remember that uh, that fishing skiff I had? Remember that one? You remember the little fish, the fishing boat? Yeah, that I used to have. yeah, I re- yeah, yeah. That's what happened to it. It's the Swift Brothers, Alan and Phil. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, so the- hey, fellas, if you're coming into whiz bangs and you need to uh, relieve yourself, and you find yourself in what used to be the ladies' bathroom, you will see that there are no urinals currently. But don't worry. You can go ahead and use the sink. It's a perfectly acceptable in 2019, or as I like to call it, 19. 19. Use the sink as a urinal until we get that that uh, unisex urine trough drain installed. Okay. Pretty soon, everyone's just going to have one big open sluice in which to relieve their bladders. You know, have you have you ever ever thought of just like uh, just having like a like a, a a drainage grate dot right there on the floor and just Letting folks just squat, drain. Yeah, that was part of the discussion, but apparently, uh, people have hangups in in nineteen. People still got mm-hmm. hangups. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, that's uh, that's what's going on at Whizbangs. This is new and exciting. Just wait news. for the unisex urine trough. Just wait for it. It'll be it'll be here in a couple more. Weeks. Not yet. It's still a few. Still a few uh, 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 moves to make, still some adjustments sure. to make, but it's coming here in the 19, and uh, that's what's going on at Whizbangs. That's some pretty good stuff. I think what we're going to do, since we took the signs down off the, the bathroom, you know what we could do, Roger? We mm. can put signs up on the utility closet and boiler room. Since I got two extra signs now that aren't, aren't even being used. And so what I'll do is I'll cross out men's room and I'll write underneath it U- UC oh. for utility closet. And I'll put that on the utility closet. And then the ladies room, I'll cross all, out. I'll put a line straight through ladies room. No, that's wasting. That's wasting characters. I'll just, I'll put a line through ladies and then underneath that, I will write boiler, and then I'll put that up on the boiler room. That way, the rooms are clearly marked. There's no excuses. Right. Use the unisex urine trough, you animals. I think that I think that ought to do it. I think uh, yeah. make sure they're they're stuck. Stick it. S- 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 stuck strongly to the doors. I think you have. Oh yeah, we're probably, gonna use probably. some. Uh, we're gonna use some 3M double sided tape. I guarantee you that. I got my favorite roll on the standby. <laughs> Ready to go. We're gonna stick it real good. We're gonna stick it, Roger. Yeah, stick it. We're gonna stick it real good on that door. We're gonna, we're gonna stick it if you need it. Stick it. Yeah. And then we're gonna stick it again to the other door. And then it'll, it's it'll be it'll be time to get sticky. Yeah, it's growing on me, but it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Nah. You can uh, you can uh, put tell it- the people where to reach us if they've got questions. Oh, if yes. People have questions. I'm sorry, we haven't talked about that yet. The email uh, email address is bigscast at, at gmail dot com. com. Sorry, I I that I'm completely got lost in the uh, the vibe of of the of the show. I also, we should yeah. probably mention they can find us on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Just look yeah. look for us there or go to the website, uh, askmrbiggs.com, and all of those links are right there, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, to be perfectly honest, some of the links are gone now. Some of them are still there, but a few of them are gone. They're not working or they're missing. Hmm. I've been trying my hardest to get a hold of uh, Michael. You know, Michael over there at uh, Geek Squad. I see. He is not returning my calls, Roger. He's he's he stopped returning your calls. Yeah. Well, he's got some issue with uh, oh, you haven't paid me in a while, and hmm. I said, "Hey, I'm good for it. You know, I'm good for it." Right, hey. Right. And uh, services rendered, services, hey, blah, 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 nah, nah. and I'm like, hey, come on, my links don't work. Make my links work. 
Geek Squad. How about we uh, uh, get to an email? Email. If we have to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> it's a thanks once yeah. again to DJ Quaker Furniture Maker and uh, uh, for making that uh, that terrific opening uh, opening little production. Roger, pizzazz. here's a tip. Here's a tip for you, Roger. If you've paid somebody to do a job, you don't have to repeatedly thank them because the money that you paid them is the thanks that they deserve. Right. If you did it for free, then yeah, you can thank him again. But you paid that guy. Well, you paid him cash. Well, but the, but the thing is, he gave us such a good deal, and um, he wanted to let me know that. Uh, and he did such a horrible job. He did. Uh, he now he, he he now goes by uh, DJ Quake. Uh, Furniture maker, and uh, because he's opened up his his line of uh, Roger, I do not furniture. want to go through this every he, time he we make... try to do an email on stick it, stick it. Well, if we're gonna go through promoting his business to this extent, then we should just change the name of the show to Hey, promote that guy who used to do uh, sweepers and sounders, but now makes. Uh, uh, traditional wooden furniture in the uh, in the beloved Quaker, Quaker style. style. This is uh, this is uh, fine quality uh, uh, merchandise here. Ian e- makes it. Um, All right, we'll go. Hey, why don't you go ahead and sign up for his RSS feed then, and let's move on with the email. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, the email in my hand reads as follows. Hello, Mr. Biggs. Recently, I was working in my home office when my wife walked in the door holding a bottle of stick it glue that you kindly sent us. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, we got a we got a we got a satisfied customer here. Yeah. Um, so when I looked at her, I noticed that she had applied a layer of your glue on the outside of her nose after it hardened. What? She applied a layer of the glue to the outside of her nose. She put the glue on her nose? On, on her nose. And after it hardened, she peeled off the, the stick of glue, and she showed me where the glue had removed some oil from the pores on her skin. Oh, just like oh those, Jesus Christ. Just like those expensive peel-off face masks found in salons. Is this a good idea? Ro- Roger, that, Roger, hold on. Roger, hold on a second. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. We missed the server. Try okay, Google. Okay, Google. Call. What's the guy's name, Roger? His name is Caleb. The server. Try again. Okay, Google. Call Caleb in. Where is he, Caleb? He's in uh, Austin, Texas. Damn it! Wait, stop that. Okay, Google. Call Caleb in Austin, Texas. Error. We missed the server. Try again. So. Siri. Siri. You're calling. Siri, call Caleb in Austin, Texas. Okay. Damn it. You're calling. Yeah. I, okay. All right. This isn't going to work. Listen, uh, you're gonna try Roger. To... Yes. He put, he, he put the glue on his wife's nose or she put it on his nose? Which one? I believe she put it on her own nose. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Why? You can't trust. Okay, listen. I want ev- I, Caleb, I want you to listen carefully, and I want you to listen closely, and I don't want you to be distracted by anything outside the sound of my voice, especially Roger, who tends to go off on tangents, all right? This is very important. You've got to understand that the Stick It branded glue... Stick it. ...that we sent out to some of our Patreon supporters... It, it is a, uh, let's call it a, a special pH-adjusted PVA glue. Oh, all right? oh my. It's poly- polyvinyl acetate. It's a, it's, a, it's a blend of my own formulation, and I cannot, I cannot make this more clear. You should never, ever get that stuff on your skin under any circumstances. Do you hear me, Caleb? And that goes for your wife, too. Right. 
So tell your wife, you know, and in, my in hindsight, Roger, I should have put that on the bottle. I should have written on there. Well, it's a Don't. it's a small it's a small bottle, so there's only so much yeah. room to put put these things on there. It's a boutique, uh, it's a small batch blend, and I it's the blend that I use in my own workshop, right. and I sent it out a very small amount to some of my Patreon supporters because I didn't think they would be stupid enough to spread it all over their noses. That's yeah, a whole so have your. Home brew. It's a home, small batch home brew. Yeah. Roger understands. I don't understand why Caleb has such a problem doing this. He's dumb. Don't do that. So have your wife wash off uh, the affected area. Her nose, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Her nose? The nose. The outside of the nose. That's. Roger, why did she put glue on her nose? I don't understand. <sighs> Well, um, it looks like she wanted to use it as kind of a facial mask and, and put it on her uh, on her on her oh. nose to help cl- you know clear pores on on her on her nose, and you can do that. That, that is a non intended use of the stick it branded glue. So she's immediately. When was this email sent? How long ago? Um, uh, it looks like maybe a couple of weeks ago. Oh my God! Oh jeez. Oh God! Oh, I gotta call my lawyer. I gotta call my lawyer. Is he okay, still... she's gonna want to wa- wash off the affected area with mineral spirits, or if you got turpentine, turpentine would be way better. And then, I after doing that, I want you to swab liberally uh, the the nose area that came into contact with the glue. I want you to swab that with hydrogen peroxide. Something. Found. And then you gotta let it air dry. Do not wipe. Do not rub. Gotta let it air dry. Oh, air dry. I, let it air dry. I did dry. not expect. I, you know, I figured you send people glue, they're going to use it for gluing. I didn't realize that I, I don't know, kids would get a hold of it and, and try drinking it in the Mister Big Stick It Glue Challenge or some stupidness like that. Right. Right. Let's... But uh, if you get that cleaned off soon enough, she's probably going to be okay. I, w- I would recommend maybe having her tested for marsupial chlamydia by a a licensed veterinarian. If you know one nearby, get her over there. Post haste. Um. So. Okay, uh, uh, there you go. It it sounds. Does Caleb make any mention in the email on whether or not his wife has any allergies to kangaroo urine? Does he mention that, like in a? A postscript at the end, maybe, or maybe there, somewhere in the body of the email, does he mention? There is, uh, there is no mention of that. I'm not sure. I mean, is that something you can just ask your allergist about? Run down to the, run down to your, make an appointment with your allergist, and uh, I'm wondering if that's no, no. On go the right list. to the licensed veterinarian. They'll know what to do. Just tell okay. them I said kangaroo urine. He'll know what it means. Okay. Wow. That's, that's, uh, you learn something new every day. That's, uh, I, I had no idea that that was, uh, this, uh, marsupial chlamydia Roger, was just, something that can be it, found. It, it, no. Found in the U.S. Don't talk about it on the pod. Roger. Jeez. Gosh, first with the Phil Swift and now this. It's like you're airing my dirty laundry all over my podcast. Stick it. Stick it. Stick it with Mr. Biggs. Yeah. All right. So you know, I'm I lost I lost three boats to the Swift brothers, three of them. And uh, two of them were never returned. One of them was returned damaged. And never an apology was spoken. Not once. Now, are we to then infer that one of your boats was was the boat featured in the. Uh... I don't want to, Roger. I don't want to talk about this on the podcast. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe. I just want to. I just. I'm just saying. If you wondered where my airboat went, now you know. Okay. So I I shouldn't be asking to bo- uh, borrow it anytime soon. With that. Stick it. Stick it with Mr. Biggs is uh, is available to uh, answer your questions about glues, adhesives, projects around the home, projects at work, anything that you need something stuck. Oh, uh, just send us an email and right. uh, 
Right, bigscast at gmail.com. At gmail.com. And, and uh, I'll do my best to answer your questions. We, you can jump over to the website, askmrbigs.com, and uh, look around for the links to Twitter and Facebook. They may or may not be working right now, assuming you can get Michael over from Geek Squad to, uh, to sort that out. Stick it. Yeah, we'd like to welcome a few new patrons to the Stick It with Mr. Biggs family. Jack A. Braxton. Seaman Zilla. Timothy Mark. Ben Kyleborn. And Tom Servos. If you want to support the show, go to askmrbiggs.com slash support. Stick it. Hey, Roger, thanks for coming in. It was my pleasure, and Brandon, always. And you, you brought that slogan with you, and while it was not very good, it shows uh, effort on your part, and that was refreshing. I just, I just well, I, maybe I can just sort of sand down some of the some of the rough edges, and uh, you know, you know, give it a little more flair where it needs flair. All right. Well, one place that it won't work is at the end of the show because we got to say goodbye. Thanks for listening to uh, Stick It. Stick It. Stick It with Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs. Time to stop getting sticky. That's kind of that's kind of catchy though. I like that. You know that one's actually kind of good. I yeah. like that one. That's a nice one. That's better. Write that down. Write it down. All right, done deal. What did you say again? Done deal. No, before that, the sticky thing. Oh, uh, t- time to stop getting sticky. Yeah, that's the one.